PC Simon Harwood killed Ian Tomlinson with a standard issue extendable baton at the G20 protest at the Bank of England on Cornhill Street by the Royal Exchange buildings where he lay on the ground not possibly knowing he had less than 10 minutes of life left within him. And helped to his feet by passing protesters with his skin deathly grey his eyes dazed and feet stumbling, within 60 yards collapsed on the paving. And the cops stood around and stopped resuscitation by a news photographer who wanted to help him and a medical student who tried to revive him and refused to speak to an ambulance operator called on emergency services by a social worker but waited to take him to the Royal London Hospital to pronounce Ian Tomlinson dead on arrival. But you, who sympathise with the police and excuse all of their crimes, take your hands away from your eyes. It's time to look at their lies. Dr Freddie Patel was a Home Office pathologist, twice suspended by his peers from medical practice, but employed by the police of the City of London to rule out evidence of assault on Ian Tomlinson. At an autopsy, kept from the relatives of the victim, ignoring the wounds where the police dog had bit him and the bruise on his leg where the baton had hit him and another on the side of his head where he'd fallen, without taking blood samples from his examination, concluded he died of a heart condition. But a second autopsy reached a different decision, that Tomlinson had died from internal bleeding caused by blunt trauma to his upper abdomen. And a third agreed with the second conclusion, though detectives attempted to influence their opinion and withheld evidence from the family of Ian Tomlinson. But you who identify with the police and ignore all of their crimes. Take your hands away from your ears. It's time to listen to their lies. PC Simon Harwood, at 45 years of age, was an officer in the Metropolitan Police with 10 complaints of misconduct in 12 years of service for assaulting and arresting a man while off duty and punching a girl he was racially abusing and falsifying police records to cover his lying who had run through the crowd with his steel baton swinging and his shoulder number removed and his face well hidden. At the Independent Police Complaints Commission only called when the press published video recordings defended his actions with falsehoods and accusations about being assaulted and other fabrications, while the papers sold lies about brick-throwing protesters, and the inquiry ignored six surveillance cameras and obstructed journalists in their investigations, and acquitted PC Simon Harwood of all allegations. But you, who empathise with the police and forgive all of their crimes. Take your hands away from your mouth. It's time to speak out at their lies. Ian Tomlinson was a newspaper vendor who had moved to London for work as a scaffolder. He was 47 years old and father to nine children and sold the evening standard outside Monument Station and enjoyed a drink and supported Millwall and lived in a homeless shelter in Smithfield and was trying to get home through the police cordons that had kettled protesters for seven long hours. And walking away with his hands in his pockets was knocked to the ground, his arm trapped under his stomach, struck from behind by a riot policeman in a helmet and stab vest and surrounded by police dogs who was free to assault whomever he wanted with his riot shield and tear gas and his metal baton in a split-second decision, killed Ian Tomlinson. And he never even saw PC Simon Harwood. But you, who apologise for the police and dismiss all of their crimes, 
Open your mouth, your ears and your eyes. It's time to expose all their lies. In Southwark Crown Court, the Crown Prosecution Service, faced with a death they dismissed on the basis of conflicting causes from different autopsies, were called to reconsider the medical evidence by the inquest's verdict of unlawful killing, by excessive and unreasonable force when striking beyond the reasonable doubt of the inquest jury. In a new criminal trial, without police testimony about the defendant's record of misconduct hearings, in judgment of a copper who had killed without warning, that a final police disciplinary hearing finally dismissed for misconduct on a full police pension, despite all the evidence for the charge of manslaughter and the removal of the pathologist from the medical register on the standard of proof with a unanimous jury found PC Simon Harwood to be not guilty. And you, he sympathised with the police and excuse every one of their crimes. Close your eyes, your ears and your mouth. The truth must still wait for its time.